yeah hello guys you are highly welcome on this video i'm going to be showing you how to sew this uh, trouser as you can see this trouser have a zipper in the front and then with a rope and then elastic uh, at the at the back so this is the type of trouser that i normally sew for someone that's a little bit uh, fat maybe with someone with a uh, waist of uh, 40 inches whenever i'm uh, making a uh, senator wear for that person or you are sewing for someone that is uh, not uh, close to you maybe the person send you is a uh, measurement so i recommend you sew this type of a trouser for that person so that if it is a little bit uh, big the person can use uh, the rope to do the adjustment and it will still fit on that uh, person so this is the type of a trouser that i normally make on a senator wear and that is a uh, i mostly use it if i'm sewing for someone that is not uh, that close to me so without wasting of your time let's jump into the video so here's the trouser after i've already sewn it up to this uh, level so you, i cut it the normal way you cut a normal trouser so you can check the video on how to cut a trouser senator trouser in the channel and then i've already fixed uh, the zipper so if you want to know how to sew it up to this level i have a video i have a video for you on this channel where you can uh, where you can uh, see that but make sure you watch the end i will leave a link to that in the at the end of this uh, video so now you have to cut the band so you measure it from that point and then up to this point what i have is a uh, 22 inches so then you add a uh, additional like a uh, five to six inches to to that uh, 22 inches so this is the band that i'm using and then the length of this is a uh, you have to measure the 22 inches so that is a uh, 22 inches then you add a uh, like a uh, six to seven inches to this so that is the length for this uh, band and then the wideness is a uh, four inches so that is the wideness and you can just fold it like this so now you have to cut the gum stay now it will have a gum stay only in the front so this is a notch the that area you don't need to put a dart on this so and i've already cut the gum stay for this uh, band but i have to put the gum stay only in the front i have to put the gum stay only in the front so you have to leave like a 2.5 from that point and then you measure it up to this uh, joining so what i have now is a uh, 12.5 inches so that is it on the first side now you have to cut for the second side also so this place now you have to measure it from this uh, point and then leave like a 2.5 also up to that uh, joining As you can see this so what i have is a 14 inches so this second one is a 14 inches so you cut this one so the wideness of this uh, gum steel is a 1.2 so you have to cut it to the length one is a 12.5 while the other one is a 14 inches so just cut the two like this and that is it then you apply the stay on this so make sure you watch the way i am applying the gum on it so that i will not place the two on the one side so that is it so just turn it like this and then you gum it on this uh, other side also so this is the long longest one You just fold it like this and then you press it very well so there's something that i want to show you here so make sure you take a good look at this point so you just can fold it like this there are two ways you can do this so if you like if you don't want to apply ribbon on the edge you can just fold this like this and then you press it another way another thing you can do is to weave it you can as well do the weaving on this 
but on this uh, trouser i'm using the uh, the bias to to tape the to tape the edge so that is what i'm using on this so just for this uh, other one so on this one now you don't need to fold the edge of this one because i'm using the bias to to fold the to to fold to tape the edge so the other this other one i will still need to do the to open that uh, folding that i did on this so i'm just trying to show you different ways you can you can achieve the this so that is what i'm trying to show you here so you just tape the edge like this with a bias so please if you are here to give this video a thumbs up let me do that right now so you you fold this uh, band like this then you measure like a 5.5 that is on average that is a 5.5 so you just stitch it with a 0.5 inches just so it is straight down up to this level and then you reinforce it you leave a little space like a one inch at the middle so you reinforce that place that is also important so this is the space we are using for the O so this is the place where we need to pass the rope through so just cut it into two like this now we just need to stitch the edge so let me do the other one also so that the two will not fall on the wrong side so we just stitch it straight down so it like this reinforce it leave a little space and stitch it uh, straight down so that is it so you open this place now just so it's round please if you are here to give this video a thumbs up let me give this a uh, video a thumbs up and if you are here to subscribe to this channel make sure you click on the subscribe button and also you turn on your notification bell so that a lot of people will be able to so that you can benefit from a lot of videos that i have for you on this uh, channel and if you are yet to like this video please let me do that uh, right now so this is the o you can see that this is the second one also so the next thing we have to do now is to take the edge of this uh, band so because i'm not uh, folding the edge so i have to tip the edge so this is the bias so you insert it like this you open the one at the back and then you use this one to just uh, cover it so you open this one and then just lay this one on it so just stitch it uh, straight down so let me show you this so please make sure you look at this piece very well so that when you are taping it it will not uh, be pulling off fold it like this and then you stitch the edge and sew it uh, straight down so you have to sew this on the on the two so this is it after i've already sewed this and this is the second one so the next thing you have to do now is to stitch the band so just close the zipper a bit and then you cut the the excess here you cut this other one also now you have to open it and then you fi to fix the band replace this on this so you leave like a 0.5 on that edge and then you stitch it uh, straight down and the one thing that is very important here is that uh, when you are fixing this uh, band when you are sewing here make sure you are not sewing uh, too close to the gum stay make sure you are not sewing on the gum stay exactly and then you do the opening of that joining so you just sew it uh, straight down with uh, 0.5 and that is it so when you are done with this just need to open the 
you need to cut the SS rather so you cut the SS and then you close this uh, edge so you fold it like this please make sure you take a good uh, look at what I want to do here so when you fold that place and then you are sewing this place you have to pull this one in also that is the SS you have to pull it in fold it in like that cut the SS and notch that place then you turn it in and that is it let's see the results so you can see this you can see how relaxed it is so this is for the o rope that is the opening for the rope so the next thing you have to do here is to stitch the second one and then you, do, you start the stitching of this second one from this uh, zipper area so you don't start from that edge so that uh, the gum stay will not fall outside the outside the band it is outside the waist so you just stitch it uh, straight down like this and then you are now sewing too closer to the to the stay and this is it now you cut the s's here also let me show you what i was saying in the first uh, video in the first one very well after you have a uh, full this place like this And you refold this place a bit also so that all this SS will not be reflecting in the front so that is very important and that is it so just turn it everything in like this you can see how firm it is on that edge and this for the rope so this place now I have to iron this place just have to iron this place to make it uh, relax so that when I want to join the when I want to top stitch it it will not be very hard for me to sew you can see that it's, it's not a uh, relax and this is it after I've already ironed it you can see how relaxed it is so this will be very easy for me when I want to do the top stitching so need to join the back now so here now you are joining with like a one inch you are joining with like a one inch and that's a one inch you don't need to measure the exact uh, waist measurement because we are still putting elastic elastic here so just sew it uh, straight down like this Now you have to restitch it again. This time we are starting the stitches from the from the top, at least from the edge like this, and then you sew it on the four stitches again. And that is it. After I've already finished the stitches, so just open it like this, re iron it. Now let's fix the, the elastic here. So from this joining now, we place the elastic here on that uh, side. And then from this uh, bottom line, that is the joining at the back, then you cut it. So you are, this, the, that is, will be the size of the elastic which you are using for this. So just stitch it on that uh, side to reinforce it. And that is it now you have to take this one to the other side 
it is the on this other side there is the joining on the other side and then you reinforce it you stitch it like this and that is it now let's see the results so this is it from the pack draw it like this and then now let's close this uh, the band so you can see this so you still have to put a uh, button o here and if you like you can as well put uh, the oak you can put a trouser oak there but i'm using the i'm fixing the button on this so make sure it's well relaxed and then you turn everything inside and then you are stitching the middle of this uh, joining so that the stitches will not be reflecting outside so that is what you are sewing on this make sure you take your time to set it at the back and then you fix turn it like this because this thing can be a little bit uh, hard to to sew so make sure you take your time to set all the stay that is all the stay and then the elastic gear uh, very well Please, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel that is if this is the first time you are checking on this channel please let me give this video a thumbs up and make sure you click on the subscribe button and if you have been watching video on this channel that is not good now please let me hit the subscribe button and if you are returning i thank you for coming back so just make sure you sew it all the way around like this and then make sure that the stitches fall on this uh, the joining that is the center of the joining that is very important so that is it make sure you are you are cutting all the thread it's one of the things that make your work to come out very neat and the back you can see that so we just have to draw it a bit and then you are stitching the elastic with the material now so just tension it like this and then you sew it straight down and to sew it up to the second uh, side and that is it so after this now you have to sew the rope you sew the rope this is the back so you sew the rope and then you fix the rope on this but I'm not doing that in this uh, video so this is the front side now and that is the area where we need to fix the rope pass the rope through this uh, opening here and this is the result at the end i believe if you enjoyed this uh, video and you have gained one or two things from this uh, video please if you do so let me hit the subscribe button and also click the like button on this uh, video till the next time that i bring you another amazing video like this again i say thank you for watching and then bye for now